this Honda 125 here or the Hot 24 from rcgroups.com and um, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the setup that I have on my Hover Things FPV frame. Um, I got a couple messages saying what I have set up and I only have a couple videos with this setup on YouTube. I haven't posted anything new with it. Um, it's just been too windy but I will soon. So I'll start off with the motors and the setup I have here. For the props, I have 8 inch props with 920 kV motors and I'll put a link where you can get these if you guys want to try them. And these motors are a bit heavy but um, it lifts the quad no problem. I, I haven't had any problems with them. I've been using them for quite a while with the 8 inch props and they really work well. And for the ESCs I have 1820 amps from White Spy and that's for the motor setup and the flight controller I have a DJI NASA and I'll put the settings up if you guys want to try them out um, I'm still messing with them it's pretty stable and I like it so far but if you guys want to try out the settings I'll post them up and for the camera I have the HD2 the GoPro with the layer lens protector on it I'll put a link to that also and the battery I have a 2500 um, Gen Zays pack 3 cell and I use 2200 also but I like these because they last a little longer in flight and for the transmitter and receiver I have the Flysky FSTH9X and with the backlight kit and you guys can get the backlight kit at hobbyking.com also so let me see what else I have here um, oh yeah the FPV setup found a couple questions about the FPV setup so for that I have the immersion 600 milliwatt with the cloverleaf antenna and this camera right here it's a little cheapy camera it's the one that comes with the fat shark predators when you buy them from Hobby King and all I did was I just put like a wide lens on it and it really does help out and even though it's a cheap camera and I guess I've gotten used to it and I fly pretty good with it I used to have it hooked up to the GoPro the, the FPV to the GoPro but it get hard because sometimes I forget to charge the GoPro and then I couldn't fly a PV so I just use this camera it looks pretty good it looks a little better on the GoPro but you get used to this camera and for the goggles I just have the Fat Shark Predators with the Cloverleaf antennas and I do get pretty good range with those um, I can't fly too far but I mean I can fly all over around my neighborhood and just you know just for fun nothing too crazy and it gets good range with these antennas on the 600 milliwatt I recommend it if you guys want to try it out and that's pretty much it guys I haven't put any LEDs lights on here I don't think I'll be flying this at night but I did put some lights in there just to make it look a little different so that's it guys and the GoPro it does have some moon gel in the bottom to help out with the vibrations and I find it does make a big difference uh, it does get rid of a lot of vibrations and you can find the moon gel at any music store or ebay I think it's like seven bucks for a pack of four and the recording I do at 720p and at 60 frames per second guys that also helps out with the vibrations and gets rid of them so that's it guys if you guys have any questions or anything please feel free to leave a comment send me a message on here or the forum and thanks for watching guys.